Hello there. Let us start uh, this session on software testing. The last session we talked about understanding specs. This is what we talked about. And then we talked about clarifications log if we have any issues or any doubts in the specs. The next step is called test strategy, right? This is as part as part of test planning. Okay. The planning happens in multiple stages, and it is not just one person who does the planning. There are multiple people who are involved in the planning. Initially, there is something called the first document that comes out of planning is either called a test strategy or also known as master test plan. People call it as MTP in short. So, this is the very first document. This is usually right uh, by either test manager or test lead. right? This is done by senior people. This is not done by junior people. So, for junior people, you need to know just what is this. You will not be preparing this document. This is pure management document. Right? Uh, some companies call this as test approach. Right? <clears throat> some companies call it as test strategy. Some company call it as master test plan MTP. But all mean a single document, which is a pure management document before anything happens in testing. <coughs> there are different uh, sections in the MTP. We will briefly see what are those sections in MTP. Okay? The sections in MTP are, the first thing is, first of all, a brief description about project. Okay? Usually, people write it in a document, so there will be multiple sections. Uh, the first thing is, describe the project, maybe one or two paragraphs, what this does. Okay. Uh, what we will do is, we will provide a sample MTP in OpenMentor website as a study material, so that you can use that as the template. Again, there are uh, different templates used by different companies. Uh, more than the template, it's better that what is there, what is the meat inside MTP. If you know that, then you can live with any MTP template. The first section is about brief about the project. Then you talk about, uh, within that uh, description, you talk about the overall functionality of the project, what kind of technology is used. That's all, nothing much. The second part of this is reference documents because you need to refer to different uh, specifications or uh, anything that is available with the customer existing product demos or what not. Anything that is to be referred within this you need to use that. The third part is actually very important. Scope of testing. Within system testing, what is your scope? Okay. The scope includes uh, what are the releases because if you are doing a system testing for a six months project, you will not just get one build to do the testing. You may be having a lot of releases in between. For each release, you may have to do a lot of testing. So, the first thing is what are the releases? For each release, uh, what are the uh, major functional modules covered, right? Because if you take a big ERP system, it will have accounts payables, account receivables, purchase, production planning. You cannot get all of them done in just a single day. They may do a staggered release. Maybe they may use incremental model or they may use uh, agile model to develop something. <coughs> right? Depending upon the model that you use, releases will change. For each release, what are the functional modules that are getting out? That's number one. Of course, functional testing is definitely in scope because when we do system testing, the first thing that we are going to do is functional testing. 
there is no doubt about this in this you have you are going to say are we going to do this or not are we going to do this testing what kind of testing i need to do okay functional testing is there are you going to do installation related testing are you going to do performance testing are you going to do compatibility testing across browsers are you going to do security testing right then are you going to do specifically anything with respect to content right when i say content testing if you are putting a product it has got uh, help files installation manuals user guides tutorials someone has to review someone has to test tutorial says something product does something else users will be confused so are you going to test the content right are you going to do within firewall or outside firewall right what area you are going to test right again there are tons of testing types available are you going to do usability testing with the product are you going to engage usability specialist to do the testing for that we will be talking about lot of non functional testing in a separate webinar session so first in the scope the test manager has to think through are we going to do this or not for this project the fourth section is also very important out of scope okay tell what you are not going to do you can always argue okay anyway i have given what i am going to do here in scope why should i tell out of scope i think many people would have seen the insurance papers right they will say inclusions and exclusions inclusion meaning health insurance okay this covers this disease that disease right exclusions this insurance will not cover kidney transplant uh, angiogram angioplasty or it will not do bypass surgery right blood transfusion you cannot say this is covered rest of the things are not covered at least make sure that you are pinpointing that you are not going to do this the main aim of this putting this out of scope is set the expectation at least the customer should not assume that you are going to do this you are very clearly saying i i am not doing this i am going to do this but i am not going to do this in this out of scope so that is also another section in master test plan number 5 human resources uh one of the person is asking a doubt is this a very similar project doc management document yes you are right it is very similar to a project plan document how a project manager plans for a project you treat testing as a separate project write a project plan document that is called mtp good human resources how many testers you need okay and uh, what is their expertise how many people you need you have to say hey i am going to use this tool right since i talked about a tool also in scope are you going to do you to do automation if not are you going to do only manual tell that explicitly should they have banking knowledge if you are doing a banking project if you are doing a stock market related project should the people know about stock market right what is their expertise in terms of uh, tech domain right the the next section since we talked about the human beings along with the human beings or human resource training needs right if you need 100 people for a project or say 30 people for the project it is very difficult to get all 30 identical testers for your project some people may know something some people may not know the others right so the issue is they will be good provided you give them a training right when to give the training 
then how long you need the training who to attend the training from the team so you need to identify that so these people must be given training and then they should be evaluated based on training the moment you give the training need your hr and training department has to identify a trainer a training venue training material they should conduct the training get the feedback right so there is a whole lot of work to be done around it you cannot simply expect everybody in your project to know everything so training needs what to be done then seven hardware needs how many servers you need then the configuration of each server then how many desktops you need what is the configuration do you need mobile devices then what are all the brands and models right because if you have to start the testing next month you cannot go on that day to your network team hey give me this mobile this brand that guy will simply say hey i don't have it in our stores or in our test lab you should have asked us one month before at least you would have procured or leased from somebody else right you need to know what exact hardware you need how many machines you need right how many you need how long you need right because if it is a company wide need company may purchase it if it is one of its kind then company may just rent it for a shorter duration release it right so what all the hardware you need then software needs right os uh, web servers right or uh, dbs right you need to tell the name of the software the version of the software that is very very important you cannot simply say hey i need a mysql database for my project testing you need to be very clear i need mysql 5.0 you need to be very clear in that <coughs> including os patches browsers web servers databases if you need any other specific software tell that how many licenses you need right how many licenses you need that is also very important because based on this hardware and software needs your networking team and the system administrative team will look for such a hardware and software available within the company if it is not if it's a long term need purchase if it's a short term need lease or rent they have to take the decisions they have to contact vendors to get that it may take time you may not get that next day so you need to plan so the test manager and the test lead should plan this nine very specifically what all the assumptions you made to do this project right assumptions may not be just technical related it can be human resource related it can be software related it can be process related it can be management related right one of the assumptions may be even client will be at offshore facility to do the knowledge download okay if you make that assumption write it in the document make sure that people are aware of that okay tomorrow client cancels his visit he wants to do not job or knowledge transfer sitting from his place how will it happen imagine that person is in the us west coast and you are in india right when it is day here it is night there when it is night day there it is night here even if you arrange a video conference you need to ask your people to come to adjust to his time or you need to ask your client to adjust to your time right a simple assumption client will be here at offshore to do the knowledge transfer he didn't go through well or say client cancels his visit what are you going to do simple things that you had in mind but not on paper may give a lot of mess towards the end so any assumptions you made put it on paper that's very very important 10 this is a very very important thing risks and mitigation in fact we had a separate webinar on risk management 
I think uh, in Open Mentor there is a three hour session especially on risks management. Probably you can go through that webinar separately but just to give uh, a brief thing an assumption going wrong that can lead to a risk right ok I ordered a server the server should be here today and that server is required for my testing suddenly the vendor calls me to whom I have ordered the server he says sir server is going to be delayed for another one week what? Uh, my testing cannot stop I need the server to do the testing unfortunately the server is not available somebody gave a problem to you it may be a heart attack right <laughs> one week server is not there what are you going to tell your client hey just because of the server is not there are you going to stop and then take a vacation for a week it cannot happen anything can go wrong right if it goes wrong right typically there is something called what if right do devil's play right ask bad questions what if uh, this happens what if that happens right if that happens what are you going to do to solve it that is called a mitigation so the test manager or the test lead should think through based on the past experience what can go wrong if it can go wrong or if it goes wrong how can I correct it that's called risks and mitigation another section escalation criteria okay that's meaning if something is not done right who is responsible if things do not go well within time limits that is called escalation okay I did not get the server today I am supposed to get it I waited for two hours in the morning server did not come whom should I escalate escalate meaning report to the boss's boss right they can take actions it's like an alert it's like save our soul kind of a message reaching them that means they have to react right when escalation happens reaction is required you cannot ignore we cannot ignore so we need to have mobile phones email name of the person within two hours this is not solved whom should I contact within four hours this is not solved what should I happen what should I do simple example VPN connection okay to client server if it is not done all the project people are waiting VPN connection is not given within two hours whom should you talk to you need to have the phone number basically the test manager and project manager must contact that person get it resolved else remember team is waiting any wait time is waste right we need to ensure that everything is done within the time limits that's called escalation criteria another thing that's done as part of the project or say that master test plan is configuration management this means what documents you create and what is the version control system uh, we have a separate webinar Microsoft Visual Source Safe we will be having more source code and the version control systems also where are you going to store your documents are you going to use a version control something like 1.2 or 1.2.3 is it x.y or x.y.z who is responsible for what document right which server it will be stored which folder it will be stored everything we need to plan before that is called configuration management configuration management is nothing but inventory of all documents within the project but where 
who is responsible put it on paper 13 okay i see some junior people are not very clearly understanding what this is yes this will be vague because this is purely a management subject for people juniors who are uh, doing just testing they may not fully understand but at least theoretically academically understand it once the session is over probably we will share a sample template and you can see that then you will understand what we mean by this okay good the next thing is review and audit plan review meaning every document must be reviewed by others within the testing team if someone makes a document who should review the document audit meaning sampling to ensure compliance because the company may be following ISO or CMMI or ITIL or Six Sigma processes what process you follow within the project must be within those guidelines you cannot deviate from that point so when are you going to get audited who will be the auditor for this project that will also be like financial audit there is something called a process audits typically process audits right who will do the process audits how many process audits you are going to plan for this right next section bug severity guidelines we will be talking about this bug severity in detail during the test execution right just to give when you are give when you are saying uh, bug severity is high or medium okay or low what does it mean or you say something called uh, show stopper okay what does it mean in this project generic meaning may be different but in this project this is what is going to mean so someone has to give that severity guidelines another thing that people need to definitely do is very important project schedule project schedule meaning list of all activities who does what okay activity 1 um john is going to do this from this date from date and uh, to date for every activity put a name against it who is going to do this then from what date to what date there are a lot of uh, products available uh, like microsoft project plan uh, open proj by serena software right a lot of uh, project planning software is available that can give you timeline of the project but you should list all the activities for each activity you should give a name of the person who is going to execute that activity another section you will see is exit criteria that means when to stop testing when you will say i am done yeah testing is over testing is one thing that you can do it eternally because bugs will keep on happening right there may be one or two bugs always be there it's very difficult to finish all the bugs and then go but is the bug tolerable is it affecting a lot of people so someone has to determine if it is not okay fine launch the product right there is nothing like 100% perfect but okay at least if i have 99.999 that five nines perfection are we going to launch determining that exit criteria someone has to do okay if i am having only these many number of bugs in these modules under this severity i will launch the product else it is a no go typically this is a go or no go decisions decision rules how will you say the product is a go or how will you say the product is a no go on what basis that's called exit criteria again i have given only 16 sections here depending upon your company process you can have any number of sections but remember mtp is the pure management document again i am telling this will be done by test managers and test leads 
junior people need not worry about this at this point of time once you gain sufficient expertise you will you will know what to do okay good this is the second step after understanding the specs the lead or manager writes master test plan so the planning phase starts with mtp thank you